So it's it is a pretty raw experience. <laughs> Didn't need to bleep that out. Today we're going to tour a shop occupied by another YouTuber. We're going to talk about his project cars and talk about his YouTube channel. Hey guys, I'm Gotham, this is Cars and Questions, and welcome to Garages of America. Before we get started, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. That said, let's get started. This is Grayson. Hey man. Hey Grayson, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm glad you guys were able to make it out today. No, I'm thanks excited for, to... Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. And uh, quite quite the shop you got here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to kind of give you guys a tour. So where do you want to get started? Here. <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, this caught my eye immediately. So what exactly am I looking at? So this is a DF Goblin kit car. If okay. you know what an aerial atom is, yes. it's basically a do-it-yourself aerial atom. Wow. So it is, it, it's a very fun car. It's a kit car. Okay. But um, it does use a donor. It okay. uses a Chevy Cobalt. Be that one. And basically, back. yep, you take everything out of that and you put it in this frame yeah. that you get with a kit. So this kit's actually made here in Texas, actually nice. here in Dallas, just okay. south of here. Yeah. Um, and this is actually the first kit car that I've done. So it, it's been a very fun experience. Fun as in uh, uh, very long and yeah, lots taxing of and pulling hair out. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of <laughs> the cuss words and whatever else. So yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, it, it really has been fun. I've enjoyed the process, even the hardships of it. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty fun. So what? So what exactly? So it came from a cobalt. Is that the SS? Or yeah. It's a uh, stock. So you can do any cobalt that you want. Okay. Um, when you do these kits, but mine specifically is an SS. So okay. that means it's nice. got the two liter four-cylinder supercharged engine. Wow. Um, they also come with a turbo. They come with different naturally aspirated versions. Um, but basically, the reason why they decided to build this kit specifically okay. is the company that makes it, DF. Yeah. When the Aerial Atom came out, they're like, oh, that's so cool. I want to get one of those. Yeah. Um, but they didn't have $80,000, $100,000 to drop on it. Very expensive, yeah. And they're like, well, we can just make it ourselves. Nice. So it uses the engine from a Chevy Cobalt. The original Atom used this exact engine at Ecotech oh, cool. Supercharged. Yeah. And they're like, well, let's get a Cobalt. Yeah. And just build our own frame around that and we'll have our own aerial Atom. Nice. And then eventually they built one and then started selling with kits. Nice. So how long did the whole process take? I'd say we're probably about a year into it at this point okay. from buying the donor, disassembling okay. the donor, getting the kit and getting it to this point. Okay. And how much power does it put down? So we haven't dynoed it yet. Okay. Um, but the dynograph on the donor was about 300 before 300. this. Yeah. Oh so we're, okay. we're going to be aiming for around 350. Whoa. Um, on a car this light? Yeah. So this, it weighs 1500 pounds. <laughs> so uh, the depend, depending on what, what options I do to it, it's between 1500 and 1700 pounds. Yeah. So it's, it's a, uh, gonna be a rocket ship yeah and it's it this i love this car it is the most fun to drive but yeah. it is also the scariest to drive. oh i i can i can imagine that so is it gonna be kind of naked or so you can get some body panels like you can get some side panels okay. you can get an engine cover uh you can get a front cowl cover okay. kind of piece I think I'm just going to do this front cover here okay, um, to kind of tidy up this wiring. And it does look really cool and aggressive when, when you do that. But I don't, I probably won't do any of the other panels. Okay. Uh, have you decided on a color or anything? No, actually, it's funny you ask that. Okay. I'm, I'm in between two colors. Yeah. I put out a poll on my Instagram story saying, what color should I do? Okay. Um, and it was 50-50 between black and red. Okay. So... Those are kind of the two colors we're between right now. I have a suggestion. Okay. You may or may not like it. Okay. It's a goblin. Green. Green goblin. Thank That's you. what you're thinking. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you've heard this joke before, I, but... So I, a lot of goblins actually are green. Okay. Um, I I might do green, but it, I, I that was part of the poll. Okay. And so we'll see. I, I, I'm so split between what colors I want to do. I'm probably just going to wrap it. So whatever color I do, I'll yeah. change it later. Nice. Um, but... That's kind of the, the fun thing about this car is you make it any way you want. You can change it to be however you want. So awesome. Yeah. And stay tuned till the end of the video. We're going to take this VF Goblin for 
Maybe just a quick lap around. Yeah, the we'll, we'll do a quick lap around the parking lot. Or we like, might go to Mexico. You never might know. know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> now, I love the Goblin, but I noticed you got an, a few more cars in the collection. Uh, why don't we talk about the BRZ over here? Yeah, so this was actually my first car. It's a okay. 2017 Subaru BRZ. Nice. And I've had this thing since high school. So I've done oh, nice. a little bit here and there, but yeah. overall it's pretty much my daily. Okay. Um, I used to have a splitter on it, but I took it off. But um, as you can see, we got the carbon hood. It's got an exhaust. Yeah, I love that. But for the most part, I just kind of keep it a fun, reliable daily. And so. is this kind of what started your YouTube channel too? Yeah, so I, I originally started this YouTube channel, uh, in my Living Like Ray, okay. with this car. So the first video I think I have on there is installing this exhaust. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so uh, it's kind of evolved since then. And in fact, actually my most popular video is of this car. Okay. And it's five things I hate about my Subaru BRZ. <laughs> I got a lot of comments of people saying that I was yeah. stupid or I was right or whatever. In reality, even though I made a video saying how much I hate the BRZ, yeah. I love this car. It's one of my favorite cars ever made. And make sure to check out Grayson's channel, Living Like Gray. We'll put a link down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe to his channel if you like content like this and building project cars. Yep, so yeah, a lot of building and project cars. We're, we're gonna do a little more with the BRZ here okay. soon. Um, we've been focused on the Goblin for the past year, but yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a long, fun ride with all the cars. So this is a really cool Datsun. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, so this is my 1978 Datsun 280Z. Okay. Um, I got this my freshman year of college. Nice. Um, and it's kind of a cool story behind this actually. So yeah. um, when I was in college, I really wanted a project car. Okay. Um, it was 2019, so just before COVID. Yeah. And um, I just wanted something to kind of distract me from school and whatever else goes going on. And I was originally looking at a Miata on okay. Craigslist. And the guy wasn't responding to me. And so basically I went to go check on the listing on Craigslist. Yeah. And I saw that this had been list listed 19 seconds um, after I had logged <laughs> into Craigslist. And nice. so I'd kind always- a sign. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I had always wanted a Datsun. It was yeah. my like poster car growing up. I wanted, I don't know why. I can't yeah. tell you why. It wasn't a Murcielago or a Gallardo or some other car. <laughs> it was a Datsun for me. Nice. And so when I saw it, I was like, I need to have it. It was a good price. I was actually a little concerned it was a scam. So I called the guy, called the guy, called the guy. And then on the day of one of my exams, he yeah. calls me back and says, hey, if you can come today, yeah. I'll give it to you for like 4,500 bucks. Awesome. Um, as, but you have to get here today. Yeah. And so I was like, did my exam, <laughs> drove down from Oklahoma to Dallas, picked it up on a truck and trailer, drove it back to my house, didn't run. Yeah. And then over that weekend, I got it running. So, nice. Yeah. And I guess a very important question here is, what was the score on that exam? That is a great question. I, I, Did you pass? I'm, I'm here today, so I, I probably, but I, I definitely think that I was too, I was too excited yeah. about this car. I can't even remember. So, but no, yeah. I mean, this is a really cool car. I, I you know, it's sitting a little lower. Um, it seems like you've done a lot of performance stuff to it. Yeah, so a, a lot of the cosmetic stuff was already done, like okay. the stripes on the side when I bought it. Yeah. Um, but underneath it was stock. Nice. So basically, it was stock engine, stock suspension, and it drove like a pig. Um, yep. So what I did is I went in and I did new wheelwood disc brakes all the way around, new BC coilovers. Nice. Um, we yeah. did new tires because the old tires were dry rotted. Of course. Um, new headlights because you couldn't see with the old headlights. <laughs> um, did a full new engine management system in ECU. Yeah. So it's got a full new fuel injection system. Um, and new seats, new harnesses, pretty much everything on this car that's performance oriented is something that I did. Nice. Um, it doesn't have AC, so that's gonna it be is, fun. Yeah, in full Texas. race car, and here in Texas, <laughs> is pretty much undrivable in yeah. the summer. But man, I love this car. I love driving it. And um, you this, think you'd ever sell it? No, never. Okay. I, I've gotten offers to sell this thing. Okay. And it just it kind of means too much to me. Yeah. It's like almost symbolic. This is the car that. I learned how to work on cars on. Nice. Made a lot of mistakes, I'll admit. That's how you learn, yeah. Um, and some of them on video, on YouTube. <laughs> um, but I've learned so much with this car and that was the point of it. Nice. Because of this car, I'm able to do stuff like the Goblin and other stuff because 
I've encountered so many issues with this that I was able to kind of push through and solve. Yeah. So basically the long answer to your question is I'm I'm not gonna sell this thing. I, I love that. Yeah. So this isn't the only Datsun you have in the shop. I understand you got another one coming. Yeah, so this is a 280Z. Okay. Um, I am, I, again, love Datsun. Yeah. Always wanted a stock body, stock engine, and a wide body turbo. Oh wow. And so I got a good deal on a Datsun project. Yeah. Um, that as soon as I get that shell out of here, it, the new one's coming in. Yeah. And it's gonna be probably the craziest most insane car I've ever built. Wow. Not necessarily speed wise, okay. but just I'm gonna nickel and dime every little detail on it. I love that. Um, down to interior, engine, it's gonna be the pristine, beautiful Datsun show car. Perfect. So. And if you wanna see the build take place, please be sure to go over to his channel, Living, with, Living Like Gray. Yep. Uh, we'll put a link somewhere here and uh, make sure to subscribe so that you can follow along with his content. Yeah, and that that is kind of a little little sneak peek because I haven't really talked about that project much. So <laughs> no, you're good. Like if you guys do like Dotsons, I'm a big Dotson guy and that's a, a, we have a really cool big project coming up with that. So. Love that. Yeah. You really, really use the shop space. I, I absolutely love that. You know, you got parts everywhere. I'm, it looks a little messy, but that just means that it's been used. Yeah. So basically like a lot of these owners that have these shops or these garages, no offense to them, but they like they don't use them. They yeah. they store cars in them, and it's a nice, pretty clean showroom all the time. Yeah. We try to keep it as clean as possible, but yeah. as you can see, we've got parts all along the rear wall. We've got a broken car here. That's we, a donor. We use this car, yeah. right? Or we use this garage. Yeah. Um, this is my workbench, you know, full of tools and, and other stuff. Nice. We we actually work in this garage. I love that. And so you got a sim over here in the corner? Yeah, so we this is a, uh, a race sim buddy of mine was selling. He was actually selling two of them. Okay. And so I bought I bought two, sold one, and basically got a pretty cheap sim out of it. Yeah, so, not bad. Um, it's a fun little way for me to practice driving for not a bunch of money. Yeah. You know, I'm not blowing up this car or the Goblin every single weekend. Yeah, yeah. I can actually practice driving technique with this and then you know not break the bank by wrecking tires or, or cars in the process nice yeah. so if you don't mind let's talk a little bit more about the shop space you got here yeah sure so how long back did you actually buy it so we got this in 2022 December 2022 it was a it was a big deal to the seller that when we got it at the time that okay we get it closed by the end of the year. Oh, okay. Tax and purposes on this? Yeah, tax purposes. Okay. And, and they were like, we need to have it sold. And so yeah. if you can do it, we'll give you an awesome price on it. And so okay. I was like, awesome, we're getting it done. I called my dad, who's a real estate attorney. Nice. Thank God. <laughs> um, and he was able to go through all the paperwork and get this thing knocked out. Wow. We closed a day before Christmas. <laughs> and, oh boy. Yeah. And it, it was a huge Christmas present to me yeah. and, and, and us. and. It was a huge Christmas present to the people we bought it from. Everybody just, we wanted the garage. Yeah. They wanted it done. And so it was, it worked out perfect. And did you buy the spot like this? Did it come furnished and everything? No. So actually when we bought it, it was completely unfinished. Like okay. even, even this, these railings weren't here. The mezzanine was up there. Okay. Um, but we pretty much bought it completely unfinished. It was full of stuff. Yeah. Got all the stuff out and we did the floors. We painted the walls ourselves. Nice. Yeah. Um, but then we had a contractor come in and do, we added the ceiling fan, we added yeah. soundproofing so the echo wouldn't be as much. Um, we stained this ourselves, we stained the beam ourselves, and then we added some walls, a bathroom. Nice. We did quite a bit to make this not only a functional shop space, yeah. but borderline living space, office space. Yeah. You know, it, just something that we can use for many different occasions. Perfect. You mentioned upstairs, which can we go check it out real quick? Oh yeah, sure. Oh wow, this is a really nice spot. Yeah, so this is kind of our office hangout spot up here. Okay. Um, I want it to be kind of a hybrid space. So I do work from here, but also a nice place to kind of chill after I've been working on cars nice. or, or doing whatever else. And you, you're saying that you work on your YouTube stuff up here? Yeah, so like we, I do a lot of editing up here, okay. but I also do uh, do some media stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I have a company called Gray Man Media. Yeah, why don't you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so basically we do, we'll do social media management, we'll do nice. videography, photography. We're kind of a one-stop shop for businesses okay. to come and 
manage their online presence is kind of the way we like to say. Awesome, and we'll leave a link somewhere over here for you guys to check out Gray Man Media in case you need any yeah. help with social media. Yeah, and uh, we, we do a lot of car stuff, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Um, but like, well, like that calendar has a lot of the work that I've done for the past year. Nice. And uh, that's a photo that I've taken. Eventually this space will kind of be finished out with okay. a lot of the photos that I've personally taken. Nice. Um, to kind of display the work that I've done and just to kind of decorate yeah. the space a little more. And my eyes are immediately drawn to the little model cars. That's that's my guilty pleasure. I absolutely love them. Yeah. So, so you definitely have a Datsun in there. Yeah. You need to have. You need to have. In my opinion, <laughs> you need to have a small car for every big car that you want. So yeah. We've got the Datsun checked off, but yeah. we've got you know like an so NSX. You got you to park that just a little bit. Yeah. Ahead. Right. Yeah. You, you got that one out of the way. Yeah. You but, want the NSX. Yeah. NSX little R34. These yeah. are all dream cars at some point, hopefully. You yeah. Know? But um, it, it just kind of depends on on circumstances and space yeah right like i only have so much space to put so many cars so yeah. this is this is this will do in the meantime <laughs> but you might have to buy a second garage yeah too. right yeah <laughs> so which is what a lot of owners of these garages do is they'll buy multiple spaces nice and connect them into one big space oh, um man. i wish like... i had the opportunity to do that yeah but um i'm working with what i got so far. yeah no i love that but yeah, so we got a cool little hangout area up here. Uh, this is kind of the lounge area, this little square here. Yeah. Got a coffee table that was generously given to me by one of my <laughs> friends. It's a little beat up, but it works. Yeah. Um, this is a little sleeper couch. So if I do find myself working late okay. or if I just need to get out of the house for a weekend or whatever, yeah. I can come sleep here. Nice. So, and then we've got a little recliner, big TV. We watch a lot of our videos on here before they actually go up to okay. see what they look like on the big screen Okay. with nice audio and everything like that. It allows us to kind of see any audio issues or any yeah. video issues a little easier than on a laptop yeah. or a desktop. Nice. And I, I absolutely love this space. I could definitely imagine myself spending hours and hours and hours here. Uh, I could imagine myself living here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not so gonna lie. If if I was allowed to, I would yeah. live here. So the way that these are zoned, yeah. I can't technically live here. Okay. Like I've got a shower, I've got a bathroom. Yeah. I, I could physically live here, um, but legally I'm not allowed to. So okay. Uh, I can take long naps overnight. <laughs> uh, I am allowed to do that, and I do that sometimes. Yeah. But I don't have a mailing address. But um, this is. If I could, this would be my dream house, I right? Mean, so I love it. Yeah, big just garage, all you just need enough is, living space. All you need yeah. is one bedroom house with a thirty car garage. Exactly. Yeah, dream house. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love this spot, uh, Grayson. Thank you so much for this store. It it's been absolutely amazing just going yeah. the the shop. Uh, we do have one piece of business we need to handle before we end this video. Okay. Why don't we take a little spin around the block in the Goblin? I think we can do that. Let's do it. <laughs> Make sure you get that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so go ahead and sit kind of there. Okay. Put your feet in. Or right here, move back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna kind of like half sit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So feet in first. Make sure you... Both feet first. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I messed that up. Yeah, I a messed little bit. that up. I messed that up. <laughs> there yeah, you go. You made it in though, so we're good. <laughs> so yeah. What? Well, yeah. We got our <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and yeah, harness up. Ooh. That's probably gonna be real tight because I sat in it last. Oh boy, slightly scared. <laughs> so we'll do kind of a sh short little slow pass first. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then I'll kind of get on it a little bit. Right. So we'll just kind of go around, down, back. So.
turning radius is good. Yeah, that's the nice thing about, about making a car this small, right? So. Holy shit. I mean, yeah. you, you can feel absolutely everything that's going on with the car right now. Yeah, so it's, it is a pretty raw experience. Yeah. So you get, um, like, again, seeing the tire right there yeah. and everything is kind of something just completely different. So I'll do a quick little oh boy. rip down here. In the position you want to be in? Yeah. Alright. Ready? <laughs> Gonna need to bleep that out. <laughs> Dude! This thing pulls! <laughs> what? <laughs> or anything yet so yeah. again we're aiming for a little more horsepower out of it oh my god i um, i don't think you need more horsepower <laughs> I, I think you need ballast yeah. <laughs> well yeah so that's pretty much it uh, once we uh once we kind of get it on the road here and legal we'll, yeah we'll do another ride and i'll kind of take both you guys out and we'll, we'll do a proper rip with it i love that so, so make sure you stay tuned for that uh we're gonna put all of Grayson's information up on screen. Make sure to follow him on Instagram and subscribe to his YouTube channel. While you're at it, you might as well subscribe to Cars and Questions. Make sure you go to our Instagram as well. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, thanks guys. Thank you.